If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up? It's x -rays. Welcome back to another Fortnite video. So today I actually wanted to talk to you guys about the big update that we had in Fortnite Battle Royale. It was pretty big. They actually ended up making a few changes, adding a new weapon, which is the silenced AR or the silenced scar. Now this weapon is actually pretty good. It doesn't fire as fast as the regular scar, but that doesn't really matter because this guy is super precise and it's incredibly silent. So the gameplay you guys are going to be seeing in the background of this video where I'm talking about what these changes were in the update, along with one big change that I think uh, has divided the community, uh, this gameplay is going to be going in the background, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. I tried to be as stealthy as possible with this weapon, considering it is a silenced AR. You're supposed to be stealthy, firing from the shadows, not direct engagement, so hopefully you guys do go on to enjoy that gameplay. I was very sneaky, hiding in bushes, going around corners, and then when I needed to push, I did push. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this. But anyway, so let's go ahead and talk about these changes. Now these updates were all pretty common. Um, not really a huge update, really more of a new weapon and a vaulting of another one. And I want to start off with the changes and then we'll talk about the vaulting of a very specific weapon that has the community quite a bit divided. All right, so obviously, first of all, they did add the new suppressed assault rifle. You can take down enemies quickly and quietly with this new assault rifle that rewards precision over rapid fire. So essentially, this weapon's really good from a distance. I actually was getting a ton of headshots with it. Um, so it does a lot of damage when you get headshots in. And then it's really good actually up close. So if you like find yourself next to someone who maybe ran past your bush, you're able to really melt them either way when you are using it in full auto so it's a really good weapon as far as some of the changes they did to battle royale they actually did a, pr a lot of bug fixes to the new limited time mode the getaway so essentially they uh if you guys want to see all of them in depth i'll have an image here for you guys to read through them but really they were trying to change it up a little bit so players in the getaway ltm can no longer land on the van without building so you can't just like make your way up above it and land on top of it so they're really trying to emphasize you building up to the van they reduced the victory music at the end of the match i'm not really sure why they would do that one the jewel no longer appears in inventory hotbar after being put down in the down but not out state so it's not going to show up anymore in your inventory the player models no longer get stuck under the van after winning a match and player models and items will no longer fall to the ground after winning a match so i did notice that i thought it was kind of funny that whenever the match was over after a little bit your characters would fall down from the van i thought that was kind of funny all right so let's go ahead and talk about these weapons and items this one's going to be the one that's uh, got people divided. But let's see. Suppressed Assault Rifle added. It's a sneaky weapon that rewards trigger discipline with precision. Can be found in vending machine, floor loots, treasure chests, and supply drops. And it's available in epic and legendary variants. It does 32 and 33 damage per shot. Here's the thing, though. I actually was finding this Suppressed Assault Rifle quite a bit more than I... Maybe I was just having a really good lucky morning. But when I was playing solos, I found this thing super fast. And a lot of people had them as well in the final circle. So... It was pretty cool. I really like it. I think it's a good weapon. Now, this new weapon comes at the cost of a fan favorite, in my opinion, they, because they have vaulted the drum gun. So for you guys that enjoy the drum gun or the Tommy gun, as most of us like to call it, it's gone, man. That thing has been vaulted. It's not coming back. At least it's probably not coming back for a while. And I actually want to give you guys my two cents on why I think this was vaulted. So maybe you guys are wondering, like, why, why would they remove it? You know, it's a, it's a good weapon. It's a fan favorite. I don't think people were complaining about it. I think people, some people were complaining to an extent saying that it was too OP or it was, but I mean, it had gotten nerfed. It wasn't exactly the most OP, but I think that the reason they got rid of it was because of the new SMG meta that we have. I feel like maybe the community was using the drum gun I included more as a SMG than an AR, which it uses medium bullets. So technically you're supposed to use it as more of a mid range AR than an SMG, but it was beating out SMGs up close. Not to mention it had all that ammo that you could go through. It was, it was, it was a fun weapon, man. I really liked it for pushing. If people were boxing themselves in, it was a really good weapon to just spray down. It was also a really lethal damage when you were in a gunfight. So I understand why they got rid of it. I'm mad that they got rid of it. Don't get me wrong. I, I really enjoy the drum gun. It was one of my staples in my loadout every time. And they got rid of it mostly probably because, like I was saying, people were using it more of an SMG than they were as an AR. And I think they already felt like there was enough SMGs. I just wish they had gotten rid of some of the other ones. Like, get rid of the suppressed SMG. We don't really need that anymore. So why would you keep that around and get rid of a weapon that was newer to the game than some of the older ones? It just, it makes no sense to me. I'm a little bit upset. 
but it is what it is so yeah guys that is all the changes we really had all the other changes were for the save the world portion of the game if you guys are interested in seeing that maybe you do play save the world i'll have a link down below the the official update post from epic games but that's pretty much everything that has to do with the battle royale portion let me know how you guys feel first of all about the new suppressed ar and then also how you feel about them vaulting the drum gun are you happy sad do you like the new gun do you wish they had not vaulted the drum gun or are you happy maybe you just hated it and you maybe were getting shredded by and you just are really happy that it's gone now so comment down below your opinions but thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did drop a like and a favor guys it's super appreciated and incredibly helpful and if you are new to the channel if you want to see even more content like this i'm gonna have a ton more Fortnite and call of duty world war 2 and black ops 4 content coming so make sure you guys are subscribed and have those notifications on by slapping that post notification bell icon so you don't miss a single upload from me here in the future you guys have an amazing day take care thank you guys so much for watching if you want to talk about anything twitter is honestly the best place to do so i am constantly on there talking so go ahead over there and give me a follow and also have a link to my gaming a second channel for more content from me and if you do want to support the channel directly you don't have to but if you want to Make sure to check out my channel memberships. You get access to early content, exclusive videos, and the special badge that shows up in all my live streams and in the comment sections of all my videos. So check that out only if you are willing and able to. You guys have an awesome day. Take care. I'm out. Peace.